The second type of STEM club to try is using Lego bricks. Whether you have Lego education kits or Lego, just mixed Lego bricks, this is a great club as well. Again, minimal prep. I did two versions of this club. I did Lego 1.0 and Lego 2.0. In Lego 1.0, we just had quick one-day building challenges. A lot of them I just made up, like build the tallest tower, and then we measured them with yardsticks. It was pretty fun. The kids liked it. Wasn't so fun when the towers fell over and they had to clean it up. But it was things like that where they would build in one day. We would learn about it. We would watch some videos about it. They would try the challenge and then they would clean up and go home. Super low maintenance. When it came to Lego 2.0, they didn't have to come to 1.0 to start. It was just a fun name I came up with. In Lego 2.0, we used Lego bricks and other materials to merge them together and do stop motion animation. This is actually when I tested out stop motion animation. I had never done it before in a class, so I tried it in my after school club. I loved it. I love teaching it. There's a lot of units I actually like to teach. <laughs> I feel like every unit I teach, I love that one, which is pretty true. Uh, but it was really fun teaching stop motion animation, came up with a whole unit, and actually with that unit, used it for a summer camp class that I taught all about stop motion. So that was a lot of fun. That lesson I do have the whole thing that you could use for an after school club. So you can check that out in my stop motion bundle, which I'll link in the show notes. If you are looking more up for a Lego challenge, I recommend looking into Junior First Lego League. I might have mixed up the words of that. I always mess that up. But that is a competition-based Lego challenge. It can be a bit pricey. Um, the prices change quite often. I did it one year because our district decided to fund that, and then we did our own challenge within our district. But essentially, you have a Lego education kit. They do tell you which one you'll use, and then you have a challenge, and then the students build and solve a challenge, and there's lessons that go along with it. So it is pretty self-guided. Again, it is a bit pricey, so look into it first. Um, but if you want more of a competition or something more guided, that's a good thing to look into. 